reconcile the truths that God has revealed. You see, this is the inconsistency of the Armenians. They think God should satisfy their logic. If God cannot satisfy their logic, then God is inconsistent. Instead of saying, my logic is so little compared to the vast sea of God's omniscience, they don't have the humility to say that and instead make God the inconsistent one. Instead, we should say that we are too little to even contain the vastness of God's knowledge. So if God revealed both, I'm not in the business of reconciling what I think to be illogical. I am in the business of proclaiming what God has revealed. And definitely I can show you that both are revealed. The election of God, the particular efficacious grace of God and his effectual call, at the same time, I use texts even in the earlier hour to show that God has uh, called even the reprobate. Uh, and he is not wanting that any should perish. Should I choose? Should I say God is inconsistent? No. I should say I am, I am of little knowledge. I should humbly accept what truths God has revealed. Uh, from Jose, thank you so much. Uh, the reason I ask this question, because... I remember one of the purpose of the parables of Jesus is to hide the truth to an elect. And many believe that can be considered as an act of mercy because if Jesus would keep proclaiming objective doctrinal truth to them, their culpability increases. Well, that's, that's the opposite of what Jesus said uh, to them. Parables are given because they are hard of hearing. It's a judgment to them. Uh, to the Israelites, that is, uh, because of their rejection of the Messiah. So you see here how they are not honest even to the scriptures when they make their uh, charges. But let's proceed to the last part 